So in this case, what I have is the proportion 5x over 4 is equal to 35 over 8. And again, we want to be able to solve. So to go ahead and solve, I can apply cross multiplication. And what I'm going to do for this is when I am applying my cross products, all right, all we're doing is we're setting our cross products equal to each other. So therefore, my equation or my equal sign is not moving. All right? I've seen so many people that apply the cross product and then they like get rid of the equal sign. All right? So all this is pretty much saying is 4 times 35 is now equal to 5x times 8. Okay? So that's pretty much exactly what that means to go through. So now we just need to multiply these. Well, 4 times 35 is going to be um, 140, because 2 times 35 is 70. 70 times 2 is uh, 140. So this becomes 140 equals 5x times 8 is 40x. Okay. Now I need to solve for x, so I divide by 40. So you have 140 over 40. Now does 40 divide into 140 evenly? No, but I can maybe say, well, why don't I try, um, why don't I try simplifying them, right? Can I divide the top and bottom by two? Can I divide the top and bottom by 20? Yeah, right. So how many times does 20 go into 14? Seven. How many times does 20 go into 40? So pretty much what I did, guys, is I just reduced the fraction 140 over 7 into 7 halves. Okay? And we'll just leave our answer like that. You could obviously also rewrite this as 3.5, but I want you guys to leave it as a fraction. Okay? So there you go. Fine.